dudes and dudettes, boys, boys, boys. Look, this is a funny video. Not funny like in ha ha, funny like in I might be going off my rocker. All right. Now, let me tell you a story. I had a look at a locomotive tonight on a picture taken from a mile away, standing on a shelf somewhere of a Class 36 built, a GE, built by Brian Franklin. Now, I don't know Brian Franklin. Never heard of Brian Franklin. But let me tell you one thing. I can see and sense and taste that thing. It is that pretty. It's an exceptional model. And on closer scrutineering, I could see um, little things that absolutely blew my mind because I never thought of it. Now, okay, you folks might think I'm going on about crap. Let me show you something. You see this little handle in there. You see the little wire. Wait, let me show you like this. You see there? There's a little wire that I just glued in. Minute little wire. It's like a hair. It's this. It's 0.3 mil brass. I cannot build any lo every logo like this because the five handles took me over an hour. And there's like 70 on this thing. So how far do you go before you go too far? How proud must I be as a model builder on my product to be sort of recognized, I reckon is maybe the word. But that's besides the point. The thing is, what does it do to me to see that? It's the difference between shit and chocolate. We had a discussion yesterday in one of the other groups. You know, because we work with 3D prints and uh, there's some other guys building with Perspex that's a lot smoother and this and that. Look, I'm there. My bodies are, I like my bodies at the moment. It looks to me like a real train. None of them were perfect. I mean, this is, this is to me what they look like. But, you, um, there are oaks carrying on about fit and finish. And, you know, this, to me, that doesn't matter that much. To me, it must look like a real loco. And that, my dear friends, makes it look like a real loco. Now, the other thing that I've actually noticed on Brian's model. He did none of this fancy piping and all this stuff underneath. Chains and he did none of that. He didn't th because that's the difference between him and me. A modeler like me, a run of the mill guy, um, I don't know what's important. He knew that that was important. Now, <laughs> what do I do? Yags must tell me, what do you think? Am I being stupid now? Am I being crazy? Um, you know, you get shelf queens and you get locos that really, really work. And my locos work. I mean, we handle them. We chuck them on their sides to put oil on the blocks. And we put them back on the tracks and they must go. Now, I always tell the oaks never to pick it up. Yeah, you know, to do it. Yeah. And that. But you still, I mean, this body is not fuss here yet. It's loose. So tomorrow I'm going to handle this thing because I've got to put the radiators on and um, stuff like that. But, um, you know, so I don't know how hardy that's going to be. Look, this is this is Heng's loco. So those are just a tad of little super glue in there. You can just break them out. You will never know unless he watches the video. <laughs> Guys, the point is, you as a modeler, 
I said to the LGB guys tonight, I said to them, you know, one day when I'm old, okay, wait, I'm old already. Okay, one day when I'm really buggered up and I'm sitting in a wheelchair wearing a nappy and spook, spook, you know, what would I as a modeler, what would be the pinnacle for me as a model, model builder? And I think it would be that some guy somewhere would look at your model and desire it with everything he's got. Like I did Brian Franklin's Class 36 tonight. I desire that logo. I want it with everything I've got. That, I think, is the ultimate. I think you've arrived if you can get Oaks to feel like that. So, yes. What do I do? Do I do little things like that? Do I leave it? My mind, my heart tells me, do it, man. But, you know, I can't. At the price we charge for these things, you know, I'm, I'm running, I'm working at 50 rand an hour. It's ridiculous. And that, that's, a, that's two days' work. I mean, that'll keep you busy for two days. And you're not going to drink Coke and bugger around on the computer. You're going to sit there and you're going to graft. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Just uh, look at the interior. He's done. Lights are in. Wiper motors are in. Everything's in like as per usual. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Let me show you something. Walk with me. Just a quick one. Just a quick one. I wasn't going to put this in the video, but just a quick one. Look, I haven't done all the pipes yet. Um, some of them are loose here, but you see these on the new radiators with a, with a 12 degrees at the top. Because a guy said to me they weren't flat. And also what I've done here, look at that. I put a frame and the light underneath. It's not going to go in here now because... No, it will. It should. I must just glue these in. But, uh, yeah, there you can see what they look like. That must not just be... I must paint these first. Um, you know, all the, there you can see what the, the degreed radiators look like. So, overall view... Standing here, that's pretty nifty, man. Pretty, pretty nice. Oh, pretty loco, this. Anyway, dude, so that's my story. You know, <coughs> let me know what you think. All right, I'm going to go to bed. I'm not going to sleep tonight. This will bug me. It will bug me until I do the whole bloody train. I know myself. All right, dude, see you later. Good, right, tot ziens.